All right, guys, as many of you know who have been following my channel uh, for a long time, I, I like to go on tropical vacations, and I'm in preparation to go on another one in a few weeks. It's not, not just next weekend or anything like that, but a few weeks. But it's time to get my orders in if I want to get something fun for photo shoots, something to wear. And I'm working with the concept of layers. So you can't just walk around everywhere in a swim thong as much as I'd like to. Uh, it's just not going to work out. So I'm, I've am i got something. I found something that might be fun. Uh, that still, you know, it's not going to be acceptable everywhere you go. But... Um, I thought it would be a fun outfit for a layer. So, this is from the brand Cell Block 13. And I think they're, they're a Los Angeles brand. And the, um, the brand seems to have three different types of, the company seems to have three different brands. This is Cell Block, and they have Vo or Vox, V A U X. They have some really fun Thai side thongs um, that have some of those. I think they have T Timoteo. I'm probably going to say that entirely wrong. I don't have the spelling in front of me. But three different brands. I think it's one company. Quality's been good. So what I got was uh, CellBlock13.net, designed in Los Angeles. And... Get on with it. So they're they're basically trunks. They're like mesh trunks that you can have as a top layer. And that's kind of what they look like. They're gray. I'm a big gray fan if you haven't noticed. And they have a tie drawstring here. I ended up buying these in extra large. Number one, they didn't have large in stock, and I, I didn't think the medium was going to fit. And I also wanted something that didn't look like extra tight, like on their package, like trunks. I wanted something a little loose, a bit more comfortable, and there's always a risk with mesh that it's going to be too scrapey. If it, it, it's number one, it could be too scrapey. Period. Too abrasive. And if it's very tight, it's just not going to be fun to wear at all. So I actually oversized this up by a lot. And it turns out that it, it's kind of what I wanted. It's not, it does fit. It just, from the width, it does look huge. It's way past what I normally would wear. But I think the drawstring is helping it out. And it's got like a fun backside to it as well. It's... It's certainly not long. It's not, you don't, I don't want these in like basketball short size length because that looks kind of weird in itself. So, you know, I don't think you can go much shorter. Maybe you can go a little longer, but it has this fun little, I think it's mainly, it is for design. If you put anything in there, you're definitely going to be losing it, but it's a mesh pocket. It's kind of fun. It has like a elastic and drawstring in the band. The band is probably one inch and a quarter in size. Uh, they don't have any, okay, they call it the Challenger short. CBS 2N3 Gray, G R Y, Gray, G R E Y, if you're playing along with the home game. 100% polyester, made in China. So you can get these mesh shorts on Amazon pretty cheap, kind of knockoffs, but they're not, how do I say this? They're, these ones were, are nice quality. They're designed nicely. The mesh is comfortable. It's not abrasive, like I was mentioning. The other part here that I haven't, shown you yet is it has this built-in pocket so it's kind of like a bulge pocket if you don't want to be fully exposed I mean if you I guess if you don't want to wear 
something underneath, you have this option of having this pocket up front, which I actually never, I never have seen before. You typically have mesh linings or kind of some kind of internal lining, which I, I hate. I usually cut those things out. Um, or it's just open for all to see, and that's not acceptable everywhere. So I, I tend to like to wear these with like a thong, or, or maybe I'll even do a brief underneath. But uh, that's pretty neat. You can have this optional, it looks like it's buttoned in there. So you can elect to put it back on. I might tr probably will take it off, perhaps when I w wear it if out on vacation. But I've never seen that that option of doing that. It's pretty neat. And so that that's kind of a high end piece. The drawstring and the elastic is kind of a nice high end piece. The extra little pocket on the back design that's nice as well. The alternating colors gray and black here that that's you don't often see that on the knockoff brands so that I like that I mean I, I kind of recommend the extra style here extra design what I don't like about it is they didn't have large and then um, I don't like the big rubberized logo cell block cell block probably will damage the mesh if you attempted to take that off. It's their name for this particular brand. I don't know. I'm not the type of person that go, oh, you got a cell block on your shorts there. What does that mean? Like, I don't, I don't really want to have to explain. And it's like, I don't know. It's just not my, not my thing. It seems kind of a, like a negative vibe to me. So, <laughs> so what? So that that's the only thing I would I would change. Like the shorts, uh, remove the logo. But what do you think, guys? What should I wear underneath? What would you be comfortable comfortable wearing these at? Let's let's actually get something here and play around with what it looks like. So this is an ergo wear thong. It's kind of tangled up. Definitely a bulge design. And with the double bulge, you probably could leave the pouch in. In on this. And how's this going to work? going to show the back side. How about that? Since this is a single, fairly thin strap, it probably do not work as well. Okay. That is the extent of it. You're, you're certainly going to be able to see everything through it. Get a black one, pretty small black one. I'll try this on and perhaps show you. Yeah, my my test on video here kind of sucks, but you're gonna be able to see through. Here, here, here's my hand. See my hand? It's amazing. So, uh, yeah, I don't know if I'm I'm going to Starbucks wearing these just with the thong underneath in the morning, you know? But, uh, I mean, but it, it's a fun kind of flare if you're just kind of maybe walking to the beach from the car, walk, walking from the car to the beach and have these on. But then what do you do? Like, you know, walk into the hotel wearing just this? Not sure I'm as bold as some of you guys. I don't want, necessarily want to subject everyone to having to see it, but um, they are comfortable. I like them overall. 
What do you think? Should we try these on? Before we do that, though, let's have a serious discussion. Did you know that so many of you watch my videos and you're not subscribed? So before we do a try on, I'd like you to click down in that corner, hit that subscribe button, leave a like and a comment if you like. That helps me grow my channel, helps fund purchases like this. Uh, it keeps the videos going. So if you could do that, I would appreciate it. Thank you. So let's try these on. Thanks again. And I'm not really signing it off. Signing off. I'm a, it's like a preemptive sign off. We'll do it again in a bit. Enjoy yourself. Hey guys, before we get into this week's video, what you could do to help me out with this channel is hit that subscribe button. Over 90% of you watch my videos and I'll say thank you, but it really helps me out when you subscribe. So please hit that subscribe button. It helps me grow my channel, helps me get my videos recommended to others. Thank you for your support. Hit that little button down in the corner and hit subscribe. Thank you very much. Now enjoy this video. So I got the pouch in there, the pouch cover in there still. What do you think guys? Do you like these ones? I like that they're not digging into me. Yeah, I guess they're a little loose. I definitely could have gone down in a large. It's actually pretty loose. If you have a tight swimsuit on and tight trunks, it's not the most pleasant experience. access things faster if it's just a little bit more loose. So that's kind of what it looks like without the uh, mesh shorts on. It's kind of maybe rolling up the other pouch. You guys gotta leave comments in the video here to tell me what swimsuit I should wear underneath. Pick your, your suit I should wear. Leave it in the comments. Always curious to see what you guys are interested in. Pretty fun. Maybe I can exercise them in exercise in them as well. Thanks, guys. I hope you have enjoyed yourself watching this video. Stay tuned for many other videos coming. I got so many in the queue already. So thanks for being followers and subscribers and check out the fan sites. There's a whole lot more to be seen there. Thank you.